friends, Miss Dower here. Today, we're gonna be talking about figuring out the measurement of angles without using a protractor. We're going to use the information that we have to figure out what we don't know. So, a quick review. So, a right angle has a measurement of 90 degrees. An obtuse, remember, hang loose obtuse angle has a measurement that's greater than 90 degrees. And a, oh, acute angle has a measurement that's less than 90 degrees. Then a straight line has an angle measurement of exactly 180. Remember doing a 180 means that they turn totally around. So we're gonna use that information to help us figure out the measurement of adjacent angles. Remember adjacent means next to. So looking at my first one, you'll see I have a B, C that makes a right angle. I have the measurement of D, B, C, and you can see that that angle is D, B, C because those are the points that form that angle. The measurement of D, B, C is 30 degrees. So if I know that the whole thing is 90 degrees, and I know that part of it is 30 degrees, what must be the other part? How can I solve that? It's a part, part, whole problem. So I know my whole is 90. I know my part is 30. So my other part must be 60 because 30 plus 60 equals 90. So now I can answer confidently that angle A B, D has a measurement of 60. Now let's look at my next one. I have a straight line. So I know right away that the measurement of that straight line is 180 degrees. I know that this part is 50. I do not know this part. So how can I figure that out? With part, part, whole. 50 plus something equals 180. So I know that 180 minus 50 equals 130, which means that angle G F H is equal to 130. Now I'm missing something important. I'm missing the degree symbol. The degree symbol is a little bitty circle up at the top. Make sure that you make it little bitty because otherwise it might look like another zero and that will throw your teacher off when she's looking at your answer because 130 degrees is very different than 1,300. So make sure that when you make your degree sign, it's little bitty. Let's do another one. Looking at this angle, I know that FRQ has a measurement of 50 degrees and I know that QRT has a measurement of 30. So what if I was asking for the measurement of SRT? That means that I'm asking for the measurement of all of it together. So again, it's part, part, whole, but this time I know my two parts and I need to figure out my whole. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna add them together. 50 plus 30 equals 80. So I know that the measurement of this SRT angle is 80 degrees. 